Oh, no. Like, huh. I have the espresso machine home. Huh. <laughs> Next time, next time, okay? Next time. Oh god, you have a beautiful dog. If those dogs wanted the food, I would have surrendered. Aloha. This is my wife Nee. She's the producer. And I'm the Hawaiian traveler Sean Kalipone. I'm a local boy inside and out. In this mini series, we're gonna try out some of the most onalicious food here in Hawaii, picked by you. Who, me? Yeah, you. You might be a local or a tourist that knows a good place to eat. I do listen, read, and reply to all comments. Well, unless it's something mean. Which food places do you want us to try? In the meantime, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and support local. Right behind the Koala Mountains in Kanyohe is a pasta noodle shop paradise that won the World Noodle Festival. Zita says to go check out Adela's Country Eatery in Kanyohe, which is where I'm from. Fortunately, it's only a two minute drive from where I live. And where I live, we have the beautiful Koala Mountains, as you can see. But you're not here to see the mountains. You're here to check out the food, so let's go. Zita tells me they have great pasta, all homemade and the cheesecake is to die for. Let's see if the cheesecake is to die for. Aloha. Walking in being greeted by Millie with Aloha. They're known for their noodles here and they have ulu, sweet potato, ube, kalo, moringa. Is that how you say it? This is all over the island. I'm not sure if you've seen it. This is the moringa, Kalam we call it kalamungai. And avocado. I know the noodles are handmade and they have all the ingredients from the farmers in Hawaii. So everything is locally produced, support local. Speaking with Nelly, there's one particular pasta noodle that she hopes the world will learn more about. One that we hope is ulu. It's a true gift from Mother Earth. Do you know how it, what the ulu looks like? Oh no, I don't know what the ulu looks I'll like. Okay, thank you. You know? Can I bring it to you? Oh, okay, sorry. Oh. That is ulu, made from Hawaiian breadfruit. Ulu is still an uncommon food in Hawaii. You know something? Uh, I'm Polynesian, uh -huh. and I didn't know that. So I could learn, I could learn more about Polynesian uh -huh. food from you too. And look, just in time for the taro noodle in the making. Part of Country Eatery's mission is also to minimize waste of breadfruits by turning them into magical pasta noodles. And here's something that's mind-blowing. Breadfruit is gluten-free, high in protein and carbs, low in fat, and loaded with fancy nutrients. Breadfruit could likely be the world's next superfood. Introduce you to Adela. Ooh. Yeah, she's the angel. Yes, or that's the nice. mother, or the mother of all this pasta. Yeah, this is Adela. Hello, oh, Adela. Hi. Nice to meet you. you. She's the you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I, I'm Sean, and this is me. And, and here's Adela, the owner who's incredibly passionate and kind. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> makes this place uh, different than uh, many of the other places throughout the well, island. Well, we're the only place that um, use fresh ingredients in our noodles. This is all over the island. I'm not sure if you've seen it. This is what? the Moringa. Kalam we call it Kalamungai. We actually take it one by one, like this. We dehydrate it and then uh, crumble it by hand and mix it with the noodle flour. So that's... That's one thing, and nobody, yeah, nobody done it before, so oh, wow. we, we're the only one doing it. And, and I like how the way that um, I was told over here that you guys are very uh, proud of going with local farmers yes, to support yes. local. It almost seems like it's like it's an Asian tradition food with Hawaiian local food with Italian pasta. Yes. It's like fusion here. <laughs> it's a fusion, yeah. Wow, 
So we got the grand tour here. Well, not the grand tour. We've just been told the history about how they make the noodles here. It's a lot of pride that they put into their noodles. It's great. All this food is gonna go right through my Waha to my Opu. Let's go. Chef Sean Kalipony wants to show you his local dishes he got from Adela's Country Eatery. Here we go. Here's our infamous local moko. Oh gosh. Just like the picture that you show. The patty with all the onions and mushrooms. They have the eggs, the burger, onion, the mushrooms, the gravy, the fried rice, the Portuguese sausage. It definitely looks more colorful than the other local mocos I had. And the burgers are big, they're hot, they're fresh, and it seems like it's drenched with gravy. Whoa. Wait, right in my mouth. I never thought I could say this, but I feel like I'm eating the healthiest local moko you could have. Most local mokos are quite oily, but this is fresh and the fried rice is really good too. And the next dish is the most popular one. Check it out. This is the pork belly, the lechon, and over here they have the moringa noodles, which is the Filipino noodles. And if you want to eat with your eyes, you could do it here. The colors are popping, it looks fresh, and the pork looks quite crisp, tender, oily, juicy, and everything else. And I want to have a bite. Mm. Oh, whoa! There's some beautiful dogs we have. <laughs> no. You want some food? Hey, hey, I think there's food over there. You see it? You see it over there? Oh, no. Um, next time, next time, okay? Next time. Oh, gosh, you have beautiful dogs. If those dogs wanted the food, I would have surrendered. The noodles. Let's have a bite. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's so tender, it's crispy, it's juicy inside, it is cooked just perfect. I want to try it with the Moringai noodles, which is the Filipino noodles, and see how it tastes like. As you can see, the noodles have a, a lot of spices on top of it. I can see why this is the most popular dish. The pork belly is the quarterback. The noodles is the wide receiver. The tomatoes and onions are the defensive and all... I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is that all the ingredients work together as if it's a winning team, and this dish is a winner. Check out my dish I got. So you have ube noodles, coconut cream, macadamia fish with mango sauce. Let's put it all together. Mm. Wow. That took two or three seconds for me to get that taste because it all exploded all at once. The fish is really crispy on the outside and it's real soft on the inside and it blends really well with the pasta because the pasta has a lot of spices. And the last dish was a gift from Mili and Adela. And here it is. It's about their most popular dish. This is the ulu noodles with garlic and portobello mushrooms. Mili was so excited to tell us about ulu, which is a breadfruit, and the whole history about it. And we have the garlic shrimp. Wow, that is drenched in garlic. I can't eat shrimp, but uh, Nivo and she'll tell you how it tastes like. Our infamous mac salad that goes along with every local dish. Oh yeah, we have that one yeah. And it's rainy and we have to go. We'll finish this uh, elsewhere, right underneath the covers, okay?
Oh, now we just came from over there when it's rainy, and now we found this roof area. Just like one of my idols, Mikey Chen, the Strictly Dumb Thing, nothing deters him from eating. It could be a storm or hurricane, he's still gonna find a way to eat, and that's us. Anyhow, with this, I forgot to emphasize how creamy these noodles are. And it blends well with this big portion of fish. They give a lot of fish here. I think I already ate two pieces, but they gave a whole lot more earlier. And I appreciate living in Hawaii too, regardless if it's rainy, sunny, stormy, who cares? Food always brings daylight, no matter what the weather is like. I just made that up right now. So I'm gonna finish this meal and hopefully wait for a rainbow. Now, off to the next dish that was a gift, specifically for Ni, because uh, she has a great smile and she's cuter than me, so she's gonna review the next dish. Even though it's been more than, I think, over 30 minutes now, I still smell the garlic. It is crazy. This is the garlic butter. Swimming in butter and garlic. The garlic is very buttery and there's like a tons of garlic. I mean they didn't they didn't go cheap on the garlic here at all. Wow. The garlic shrimp still held up after this entire time of Crazy. being of being prepped, uh screwing up vlogging. The eggs, we have the eggs with the local moco, there's eggs and the patty is big and it looks like it's a, wait. something if we didn't if we didn't get this dish I see why we got this dish now it is so yummy this is really thick even after just a bite I'm already almost a little bit full you want to taste Mm, no, that's okay. I've eaten quite a bit already. I'll take your word for it and try it the next time. <laughs> okay, okay. So well, we only live a two minute drive away yeah. from where Adela's is. So I think we should eat the cheesecakes, right? Before it gets dark. Ni has the Halpia Taro cheesecake and I have the Ube cheesecake. One. Two, two and a half, two and three quarters, three. Mm. That should be illegal. No, this really should be illegal. That is an ube flavored cheesecake with a nice crust that blends it all together. What do you think? I see how you were excited about this. Wow. It's very flavorful. Wow. Very amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not sure which one is the best though. I, I uh, think, yeah, well, but well, this one has more flavor. Okay, so in my opinion, I've eaten other good desserts just like this. I've never eaten a dessert like the Ubi cheesecake, not even close. So I have to say that this is better because this stands on an island all on its own. This is the Michael Jordan of cheesecakes, okay? So good. Zeta, you're correct, it's worth dying for. Thanks for sticking around with us through the rain, the weather, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the daytime in the next vlog. Aloha. Okay, awesome. Hey, baby, you didn't need to. No, no, I'm gonna cut it off.